Over the years that have followed the September 11th attacks, Americans have used art in all kinds of ways to remember those who lost their lives. Team 12's Jen Wall introduces us to a local composer who turned to his piano that day, channeling the pain and uncertainty felt across the nation at just 12 years old. As news of the devastating 9-11 attacks trickled across America, it struck a chord in a then 12-year-old boy from Page in far northern Arizona. Connor Chi turning to the keys to sort out what he was feeling. Overcome with these uh, strange emotions that I didn't really understand, especially at 12, so I sort of tried to put it into music. His composition, a tribute to the men, women, and children who lost their lives in the September 11th attacks. It turned into a somber day, and that's kind of where the music went after that, after that kind of big opening. Following the wave of emotions felt inside of him, and across the U.S. And it sort of ends with a little bit of uncertainty because nobody really knew what was going to happen. Nearly 20 years later, Connor says he hasn't performed his 9-11 tribute since he performed it at Carnegie Hall. He's classically trained on the piano and has composed many other pieces since then. It's based on elements of Navajo music uh, that I got from listening to my grandfather and recording him. Mary reaching out to us on next door telling us how he's documenting Navajo history. It's a very spiritual experience. And when looking back on the uncertainty of the past and the unknowns we face today. To sort of look inside ourselves and know that we've been through things in the past and uh, we can overcome them again. Jen Wall, 12 News. A beautiful way to pay tribute. Jen, thank you.